<clears throat> hey, welcome to the Redbeard Grind, everybody. I'm Redbeard, and I sell stuff on eBay, and I make videos about it so that you can go find this stuff and hopefully make some money yourself. These videos always help me. I still watch tons of videos like this from other resellers. Um, so I'm going to go over July 17th. Did 13 in sales. I got a couple Poshmark sales I want to go over uh, from yesterday just because I think they're worth knowing about. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into this. Let's do this. All right, I got a sorted high to low for you. I'm just gonna do the first good ones. There's a lot of cheap stuff selling right now because I'm I'm like making any deal I can just get sales right now. Um, just get some money coming in. But uh, yeah, let's do this. And oh, by the way, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like this stuff. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this stuff. And if you don't like it, you're probably not gonna stick around. All right, so um, Alpha Industries. If you could find this, this brand, um, definitely comp it. I found it twice, and both times it was this jacket. The first time it was this jacket with a liner inside of it, and I sold it for, I want to say, 100-ish bucks. I don't remember. Um, I have had this listed for a while. It's been listed since February. But I get offers on this every week, if not almost every day. I was trying to get 90 for it. I still think it would sell for 90 bucks. In the winter time, but uh, I'm happy with uh, 62. I sold it for 62 dollars plus my eight dollar shipping. Um, but this is what you need to look for. It's one of these like it's going to look like an army jacket or something. And this is the the tag on the inside. And sometimes the tag like this tag is uh, right here in the middle. But for the army stuff and military um, items, clothing clothing items, sometimes you're going to have to look on these side pockets, even in the pants. Like look down inside deeper inside uh, so you can find that tag and then you can comp it. The way you would comp this is you definitely want to put Alpha Industries. Um, I don't always use the brand name um, when I'm comping military stuff, but Alpha Industries, you do want to do that because their stuff goes for more money and it's, a, it's an important keyword. And then just put coat, cold weather, Mansfield, and you'll get all kinds of stuff similar to yours. And then you can see if it's selling. I pretty much will almost, I don't find Alpha Industries stuff very often. Uh, but when I do, it, it's in good shape. I just pretty much throw it in the basket, get home and comp it, and then list it for whatever it comps for. But yeah, this was a really nice jacket. A bunch of people wanted it. Uh, there's just some different tags you can see in there. And the other the other jacket I got, I was able to age it. And I can't remember. I think it, it was really, it was older than this one. Um, but if you can find Vietnam era stuff, uh, that'll go for a lot of money too. But yeah, keep, a, keep an eye out for uh, military stuff. There's tons of it out there that's not worth any money. But uh, there's tons of it that is too. You just got to check all of it so you get used to what you want, what you don't want. All right, Lab Court, Lab Co, Lab Co, FR. I picked these up because they were new with Tag. This I got this at Goodwill. Oh, I bought that jacket. I think probably for nine ninety nine or something. I did find that at uh, Goodwill. And then this this was a Goodwill find also new with Tag. Um, I paid six ninety nine for these. I don't typically pick up this brand. I pass this brand up most of the time, even the FR stuff, because it just doesn't sell that well. But with new tag, um, I comped it. It did, it did it did pretty good, actually. I bought these for $7.99, sold them for $29 and some change. Um, this is what you're looking for. That's the logo. You'll see these often. If you go to if you're thrifting often at Goodwill and Salvation Army, or, um, you'll see this off, often. But I pass up, I pass it up all the time. Um, but when it's new with tag, I'll pay attention to it. Um, oh, that's a picture I shouldn't have had in there. Oh, well, that's how I bag my stuff. Put a number on it, bag it, bag it and tag it and put it in the inventory. But uh, yeah, so if you see that new with tag, maybe check it out. But if it's not new with tag, check it out if you like, but at least you'll be learning like what it's worth. What's it, is, is it valuable or not? All right, um, Steady Classic. I find these occasionally. This is a a brand that makes like bowling shirts. And they're often made in the USA, not always made in the USA. You just have to check your tag. This one was made in the USA. Um, that helps when they're made in the USA. But this one was really cool. Sometimes they have cool patterns, cool designs. Sometimes the bowling team will put their embroidery on it on the back and stuff. I buy them anyways. Even if it has someone's name on it, there's a bunch of people that buy bowling shirts. Um, I sell them all the time. But I prefer the ones that are really kind of cool looking with color, like at least some color blocking going on or a cool embroidery. This one was an Elvis Presley, um, had an Elvis Presley embroidery. So it says Elvis Presley EP, 
and then I think the um, the buttons were were they like no, they're just square buttons. I thought there was something special about the buttons, but maybe not. Let's see what this pattern was. Just some normal pattern. But the Elvis Presley helped. I don't know if it was originally on there or not. And then the back was blank. Um, if you find them with the cool embroidery on the back, uh, pick it up or at least comp them or maybe play around with it. I usually sell these at least in the $20 to $30 range. Um, some of the keywords I use are Rockabilly. I always put Rockabilly on them. Um, this one, obviously, I put Elvis Presley. A lot of times I'll put um, uh, the Le Lebowski or the Big Lebowski or down in the theme, I'll put Big Lebowski, maybe some of the character names from that movie. And there was another uh, bowling movie that was popular. I, sometimes I would put, I can't think of it right now. Um, but you could just use keywords like that to bring people to it, to the item. Uh, and, and you can sell these. Like I, I sold this for 29 bucks, bought it for uh, 5 dollars Listed it July 7th. It went pretty fast. And I saw, I've been getting a lot of offers from Australia lately. And um, there's been a couple of the bowling shirts go to Australia. I don't know if those are they're popular over there. Um, but yeah, don't pass this up. Let me show you that logo one more time. Steady Classics right there. Made in the USA is better than made in China. But I still pick up the China ones if they're cool looking. All right, Tommy Hill figure. These sold fast. And was this overseas sell? I don't know why I got 30 bucks for it. I netted 25. Um, I got these for free. So that's good. Uh, these were uh, my girlfriend's son's jeans. And I listed them yesterday, July 16th, or two days ago. And they sold fast. I just put 14 bucks because uh, Tommy Hilfiger I don't buy. But since they were free, I was like, okay, I'll list them. And the important thing here is this patchwork. And you want that to be one of your keywords, definitely. And then distressed. Um, I think all you guys are familiar with Tommy Hill figure. There's really nothing special about these jeans. I think they were in good shape. Yeah, I got measurements and everything. But I think the patchwork helped helped maybe bring some traffic to it. And I, I think this was overseas, so that's why I got 30 bucks for it. So that helped me uh a bit on the um on making some money because I made a little bit of money on the shipping. But that's not a brand that I would normally pick up. Kind of, kind of slim pickings from yesterday. I don't have much stuff that sold for a lot of money. Uh, Vertex Phantom Tactical Pants. I I prefer Five Eleven Tactical, but this brand does okay. Um, I've sold these just a couple different times. Let me show you their logo. Well, I guess there is no logo. This is just like um like a utility pants. There's no logo. I can show you Phantom LT. I don't know. Anytime I see Ripstop and I'm not familiar with it, um, I will comp it. How long have I had these listed? Since April. I don't come across this brand that often. And uh, so I put, when I, when I comped it, I put the Vertex Phantom LT tactical pants and it did okay. I was trying to get 22 bucks for them. Sold them for 19. Not too bad. They're not, that, that's not very impressive. Let me see if I can find some, some better stuff for you guys to find. Or what's out there that okay, Larry Mahan's okay. Sold this for 17 bucks. I just listed this too on July 16th. This is um a, a lot of the Western shirts are selling right now. I don't know if that's uh uh if they're in style now or what, but so I have been starting to pick up more of them. I picked up another couple today. Um, but this is uh Larry Mahan. I've sold plenty of Larry Mahan shirts uh in the past. Um, if you like Western shirts or you know about know more about them, leave a comment below and uh, let us know if this style is picking up or trending. Um, but when I pick up uh, like Pearl Snap shirts, I tend to want it to have some kind of cool pattern. Like this is a really cool pattern. I just put Paisley because I don't know what you call this pattern. And then it's got the diamond Pearl Snaps, which I like. And I've been picking them up long sleeve or short sleeve. And they seem to be selling. And I've, I've been selling some Wranglers too. The Wrangler stuff's moving. Um, so maybe this is a trend that uh, I'm just not catching on to, or a trend that's just now getting some uh, some traction. Nike. This is not a brand. This is just a T-shirt I bought for I think three ninety nine. Got it for three ninety nine at Salvation Army, um, and I could not get all these stains out of it. It had uh, you can see stains all over it. Right, let me see. Yeah, and just every single one of these is is a stain. And I sold this sucker for seventeen bucks. I would have got more if it was in good condition. So if you see a shirt that has the same logo on it, and I don't know anything about this logo. I don't know what this square is for or this rectangle is for or something was on it and it's worn off. 
Um, I think I comped this with Google Lens. I took a picture of that and found that this exact shirt had sold several times for a decent amount of money. But unfortunately for me, and I used this also um, uh, when I was comping it to put that in there and try to find the exact shirt. It's like a mesh material. Um, I didn't do too well in the sale. I, mean, I still made money, but if you see this, you might look into it, especially if it's in good condition. Mine just was in really poor condition. So, and I probably copied somebody's title. I would not have known to put blocked. NSW Futura blocked. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that one. That was because you can buy those for really cheap and then maybe flip it. How long, let's see how long it sat. I listed it April 30th, so it's been set for a little while. Uh, here's another example of a Wrangler Western Pearl Schnapp. Sold it for 14 and some change. Not too great. But uh, listed it April 15th. It's been sitting around a while. This is just a standard pattern. Nothing special about it. Uh, but if you see these and it has like an Aztec, an Aztec pattern to it, or like a tribal pattern, or if it has um, some embroidery on the chest uh, somewhere. I picked up one today. I it is a Wrangler and it, it's embroidered. It's like, it looks like a, a Howler Brothers Gaucho shirt. I don't know if they're copying them. And it's really, it's old. The tag's worn out. Um, so I'll see how much I get for that. But some of that kind of type of stuff is moving. Let's see. Nothing else worth going over, really. I wish I had some better cells. That jacket's the best thing I had to show you. All right, so I'm gonna, I want to show you these real quick. This is some guest jeans that I picked up. They're vintage. And it's got the old, the old triangle on the back. Right there, and I think they were USA made, made in the USA. Let me see if I can find the tag. Made in the USA. So I picked these up just based off that and based off the fact that they were, does it say baggy? Let me see if it says baggy or did I just add that as a keyword? I think I just added that as a keyword. They look sort of baggy, but it's tapered. Yeah, they look like it's like a relaxed fit. Um, but those are keywords right now that are popular, baggy, hip hop, um, relax, loose, all that stuff. I had listed these for 60 bucks and I think I could have got closer to 40 or 50. I was sent an offer of 30 and I just took it without thinking. Um, but just if you see guess jeans like this, um, don't pass it up. I mean, I, I bought them for $6.99 at, at Goodwill. I'm trying to find the tags again. Um, so guess jeans, 100% cotton. Made in the USA, and they're baggy. Just keep an eye out for stuff like that. It's got the double button on it. Because you can make some money on these. Um, I don't pick up guests all that often, but I think I really could have got 40 or 50 if I would have just negotiated with them a little bit or um, just held on to it, not, not made to sell. But I, was, I, I want sales right now, so I was like, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take the 30 bucks. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. All right, let's go back to this one's the last thing. Hey, if you're still here, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. And I appreciate all the comments everybody's making. All the comments seem mostly positive and informative. And I really appreciate that. I, I think I learned more from the comments uh, from you guys than I can actually teach you or show you from what I'm doing. I, I, re I really appreciate that. I've learned tons of stuff from you guys. And I got to click back again. All right, this is the last thing. Uh, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. And let's see, Johnny O. All right, I th I can't remember if I bought these at Goodwill and it was new with the tag, or if I bought these at Marshalls. I may have gotten these at Marshalls. If I did, I paid up for them, um, but I can't remember. So either made a little bit of profit or a decent amount of profit on it. But anyways, Johnny O is not a bad brand. This is their logo right here, this little surf guy. Um, and typically they'll have that on the outside somewhere. Let's see if. They've got it somewhere. And just this pattern alone should attract you to go at least look at it to see what brand it is. Like anytime I see camo, blue, green, brown, whatever, I always go check it out no matter what. I don't see their logo anywhere on the outside. Um, but here's a better picture of the logo there, Johnny O. And let's see if I can give you any more good information. 110, haha, real funny. These never sell for 110 bucks. But there's the style information, uh, so you can get the name of the shorts. These are the Claymore shorts, um, which I just took from the tag. But if you don't have that information, sometimes the tags will have the style number on it. Like there's a style number right there, and there's the name. You need that stuff in your listing to help your customers 
their customers specifically looking for Johnny O. Claymore shorts. They're going to type it in. If you've got Claymore in your title, you're, you're more likely to pop up than not. Um, if you've got a good listing, if you don't have Claymore in your title, they may never even see it. Um, so I sold these for 30 bucks on Poshmark. That's all I got, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. It's Thursday for me. And then uh, tomorrow's Friday, so I'll do one more video for the weekend and then take the weekend off. Uh, I hope you guys are selling lots of stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow.